given me a new name. He set me in a family. He pulled me out of my pain. He never walking out on me. He given me a new name. He told me that you love me. He set me in a safe place. But you are my security. You're singing over me. You're singing over me. You're singing over me. A song of love. And this is my new name. And this is where you brought me. I'm living in a wild place. Making me a masterpiece. I'm singing over me. You're singing over me. You're singing over me. A song of love. You're singing over me. You're singing over me. You're singing over me. A song of love. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Well, hello, good morning, a warm welcome. I'm the Reverend Adrian Evans from St John's Warmly, and I had the privilege of leading our Remembrance Day service today. Part of our service will take place pre recorded because of COVID restrictions, and then we will go live to uh, the War Memorial for the two minute silence. You'll need to finish the first part of our service to then move and look back on Facebook and find our live stream. We've got lots of people involved in our service today and we're really looking forward to worshipping with you while also taking time to remember the sacrifices of others made on our behalf. So let's begin with a prayer. God our Father, as we gather in remembrance of all who have died, through armed conflict. Let your peace rule in our hearts through faith and may your spirit focus our minds on the supreme sacrifice of your son, our saviour Jesus Christ. Amen.
This reading is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot. A time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain. A time to search, and a time to give up. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to hear, and a time to mend. A time to be silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time for war, and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our New Testament reading is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of the one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. One hundred years ago, on the 20th of November 1920, the war memorial was erected and dedicated in Warmley Village. The newspaper report from that day lists hundreds and hundreds of people turning up dignitaries, veterans and members of the public. The article says that no more memorable scene has ever been witnessed locally. Members of our community have met at the War Memorial every year on Remembrance Sunday in order to give thanks and to remember the sacrifice of our lost ones who went to fight for our freedom but never returned. They gave their lives for us. And this then is a time for us to remember, to put aside our daily concerns, our busy lives and our distractions to ponder and reflect and give thanks for all of those brave souls. The reading today from the Bible talks about time, that there is a time for one thing and a time for other things. And we're living through strange and tough times, aren't we, at the moment? Usually we would be, we would be gathered around the War Memorial as a community, hundreds of us, shoulder to shoulder, taking time to remember. But that is impossible this year due to the COVID virus. But that does not mean that we cannot remember. That does not mean that we can't take time to reflect. During lockdown earlier this year, I wonder if you joined in with the Thursday evening clap for the NHS and carers. My wife and I would stand on our doorstep waiting for the moment to arrive. A quiet neighbourhood like Warmley would suddenly erupt with praise, clapping and cheering. It was also an emotional moment too. A few times Hannah and I would be full of tears, lumps in our throat as we clapped. The raw emotion of the event inspiring us, but also forcing us to reflect on the blessings in our own lives. It truly is a time for weeping and laughing, of mourning and dancing. These times are certainly a time for embracing the people that we are able to embrace and a time for refraining from embracing to protect each other. Now many of us will be, will be glad to see the back of 2020 for obvious reasons but there has also been many good things that have come out of this national crisis. We have seen an increase in community involvement, neighbours caring for neighbours, food bank donations, charitable giving. It feels like the wartime Britain that I have read about and heard about from my relatives. There have been some good coming out of the bad. In a time of restrictions, lockdowns and isolation, we read of a God who loves us with no restrictions, whose love frees us from sin and from whom we can experience true love, life and forgiveness. The sacrifice of Christ on the cross, where our sin was dealt with and his resurrection to new life, is a gift. It is a gift that reminds us that even if there are bad times and seasons, even if there are lockdowns and restrictions, the love of God is eternal. 
He is walking with us as we face these testing times. I want to encourage you this morning that as we face more restrictions, that as the reading says, you would not give up, but keep searching. Search for God. His arms are wide open. His love is perfect and his mercy is everlasting. So today we remember. Today we honour those who made the ultimate sacrifice for us. Today we mourn, but today we also commit ourselves afresh to following in the way of Christ in whom we can face anything. Amen. Dear Lord, please help us to remember all the soldiers who bravely put their lives at risk for us. Today we will remember all the soldiers who lost their lives in the war. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, please give the world hope during these difficult times and help people around the world have faith in their governments. Please help everyone feel safe no matter their faith, gender or race. Help the children all over the world who can't afford enough food or water. Make those who are confused and worried about the current global situation feels safer. Amen. Thank you for our trees. Thank you for our grass. Please help everyone be happy and rejoice whilst coronavirus is on. Help everyone uh, as we go into another lockdown. Help everyone have an amazing Christmas and New Year. Amen. In heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done. Our earth as in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive whose those sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From the kingdom, the power, and the glory are, are yours, now and forever. Amen. Oh, 
Well, we've just about come to the end of our pre-recorded section of our service today. A huge thank you to all those involved. I hope it was a great opportunity to stop and give thanks. We're going to finish here, but we are going to move uh, on to a live stream. So you'll need to just leave this and look for the live stream to come up on Facebook just in a few minutes' time. But a final prayer of blessing. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Guard your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. <laughs>